Hello everybody, welcome to part three of my six part trailer reactions tonight. Filming them all at the same time and releasing them as I can get them edited. We had a bunch of stuff come out from New York Comic Con and I wanted to get to them all and I figure let me just record them all at once and then I'll try and edit them together and get them up as soon as I can. So if you go back you can watch my trailer reactions for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them trailer 2 and I just did Resident Evil the final chapter trailer 2. This one is gonna be Underworld Blood Wars. And then uh, coming up is gonna be Power Rangers the teaser trailer John Wick chapter 2 teaser called Good to See You Again and Marvel's Iron Fist which all had come out at New York Comic Con uh, today. So we will look for those coming soon, but let's check out Underworld Blood Wars and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Kate Beckinsdale. I love Kate the Beckinsdale. The Lincoln clans have been at war for centuries turning our world into a battlefield. They've been warring for, for many me, movies, too. The fight is personal. Everyone I've ever loved has been hunted down. Now a new war is being waged. Is she gonna do a superhero landing? Celine, the Lycans are moving again. They have a new leader, Marius. I'm finished with this war. But it's not finished with you. He wants the blood of you and your daughter. Even I don't know daughter. what she is. I don't remember a daughter in the other room. Tell your Marius I'm coming for him. Nice. <laughs> Do you understand your message? We need Celine and end the war. She cannot be trusted. She is the purest of us all. She is the key to the futures of lichens and vampires. And when we have the blood of Celine and her daughter, we will be invincible. I will be more powerful than any vampire in this coven. You want to harvest her. You must help me protect her. You must go north. You will find answers there. If you want to win this war, you will need to go further than even a warrior of your renown has ever ventured before. What is that? You like the flash? <laughs> nice. There are too many of them. Do I look worried? All I want is your blood. Oh, great. I like outdoor snow shots. Underworld. Blood Wars. Coming soon. <laughs> yeah, okay, I like that. Uh, I like the Underworld movies. I think the last one, what was it, the Lycan one, I thought, from what I remember, was just okay. Uh, but I liked the other ones. The first one I liked the most, of course. I think that was the best written and uh, was shot the best. The other ones I thought were just fun. They were fun. This one looks like it shot really well. I'm liking the cinematography and where they're placing the camera, the direction. Uh, it reminds me of the first movie where you have like wide shots with up angles of jumping. Uh, they'll probably do that a few times. I was hoping she would jump off the building and do a, like Deadpool would say, superhero landing! Superhero landing! Because ah. <laughs> she did that in the first movie, so why not? Um, there lo it looks like they're going to try and harvest her blood because she's a pure-blooded uh, vampire. I'm assuming because the bad guy can do something with it to make themselves even more powerful. It's unclear of what that process would be, but from what I can guess out of the trailer, I would say that 
it, they ended up doing it to her or someone helped Kate Beckinsdale become the ultimate version that the bad guy was trying to become because it looked like she was like the flash moving around super speed now one thing I am concerned about is they showed a lot in this trailer of the movie some trailers you can tell where the scenes are located in the timeline of the movie and it looks like they showed a lot of stuff from the beginning what would be the beginning of the movie the middle and the end some of the stuff with her moving around like the flash that I don't think should have been in the trailer because that feels like it's going to be the final action sequence the ending of the movie and they probably should not have given that fact away in the trailer so I'm a little uh, disappointed in that it should have been something they held for the movie but that's not the movie's fault that's the person that made the trailer that's their fault whatever company made the trailer so I think they gave away too much but the cinematography looks great there were a couple of scenes that were a little too dark on the color but it's a dark movie I mean the whole thing takes place at night of course but uh, I do like some of those outside shots with the snow on looks like on a frozen lake because they had the frozen waterfall in the background that she kicked the lichen into but and the cinematography looked great in that scene as well so there's gonna be a lot and a lot of eye candy in this movie and I'm I'm excited for how it's uh, directed and shot I love Kate Beckinsdale she's awesome I'm just disappointed that I think the trailer gave away too much but what do you guys think? Do you think the trailer gave away too much of the movie? Uh, do you like the Underworld movies? Comment below and let me know. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video. Are you on social media? I am. Links for that's in the description below along with my Patreon and my uh, mailbox where you can mail me stuff and I'll be doing unboxings for stuff that I get in the mail so you all can see what it is that I'm getting. Also you can check out my store where we have uh, t-shirts and hoodies and other merchandise. I'm trying to add more stuff there all the time and if there is something that you would like to see up on the store just let me know we'll see if we can get it up there right now it's mostly t-shirts male and female all kinds of different colors and a hoodie that says Khan said I'm awesome because if you support the channel and buy a shirt you are awesome I say you're awesome and that's why the shirt says you're awesome